So my topic is obviously Divine Mercy, but in a little bit different way than you might usually think about it. This is one of the first things that we talked about on the retreat that I went to. And by the way, this was a an Ignatian spiritual exercises retreat, so it was really intense and really amazing. But uh, this is this is something that um, Ignatius wrote. It's called The Principle and Foundation. It goes, Man is created to praise, reverence, and serve God our Lord, and by this means to save his soul. And the other things on the face of the earth are created for man, that they may help him in obtaining the end for which he is created. From this it follows that man is to use them as much as they help him on to his end, and ought to rid himself of them so far as they hinder him as to it. It seems pretty straightforward. We know that creation is good when we use it to the greater glory of God, and that it gets bad when we use it poorly. What came next in the meditation was uh, a reevaluation of life and ideals and where you direct everything you do. If it's to the eternal good, uh, which would mean that you use everything only as it is for your salvation, or for the worldly good, where you just like enjoy stuff. And again, this is not bad to just enjoy things, but Ignatius is saying if you really want to go deeper and be an actual complete human being as you were meant to be, then you have to choose the latter and make sure that everything, everything around you, you are using to your salvation, to, to the, well, the claiming of your salvation, because it's already made available to you, which I'll talk about next. <laughs> when we see all of creation as either helping us towards our eternal end or hindering us from it, and we choose only to use creation as a way to help us to our eternal end. That sanctifies what we use. This bed that I'm sitting on, if I am using this to help me get closer to God, then that means this bed is helping me claim my inheritance. And that means this bed is, is in a way sanctified. And on the flip side, everything around us, when we use it properly, when we have that grace to use it properly, sanctifies us. We know that God created us in circumstances that we are for a reason and a purpose, but we rarely consider that every single little detail in our lives, in our circumstances, our opportunities, what, what we have materially, everything is by perfect design placed intentionally and deliberately before us at each moment of our lives. But that also means that everything, and I'm talking everything, a pencil, a camera, a picture of a church, everything is a mercy from God. It is in, in God's mercy, he has given us everything in our lives that we can, that we have the chance to work towards him, to work to sanctify ourselves. So, do you have the worst professor in the college who always gives you bad grades no matter how hard you work? Well, that's a mercy from God. We're always told to, you know, offer it up as a sacrifice or whatever. No, that's a mercy deliberately put there. Do you have a terrible neighbor who always lets their dog mess up your lawn? That's a mercy from God too. Use it to teach you patience and love and detachment from your lawn. Do you have like a really tasty cake? Well, as Padre Pio would say about that, if this cake is so tasty, what will Jesus be like who is the source of all sweetness? Really though, the good, the bad, and the ugly. We are meant to harness everything, like literally everything in creation. Harness it to bring us to salvation. And I just think that's incredible. Now, the problem is actually doing that. <laughs> actually considering everything as a mercy instead of a nuisance. We really need to pray for the graces to see things that way. For the grace to recognize creation for what it is, which is entirely mercy. I think it's easy to think of mercy, you know, God's divine mercy as something that he feels towards us. No, it's something that he gives us in opportunities for us to make penance and to grow closer to him like he gives us the chance to do that it's epic that we have that opportunity so thanks god happy divine mercy sunday everybody i'll see you tomorrow